Most everything that Dutch gourmet chef Edwin Finke cooks at his restaurant comes from the North Sea. Seaweed is the main ingredient. The seaweed is everywhere, and the seawater is everywhere. And that, that's the base of our kitchen. When you were walking around, collecting the seaweed, you smell the sea, and I want to have this on my dish. Jan Kreiser is the only person in the region with a license to harvest seaweed. So this is uh, Japanese uh, uh, berry uh, seaweed. We dry it, and when it's dry, it's even more intense. So it's even more um, tasting like, like the sea, like the seaside. So this is uh, really, this is not my favorite, but this is really creative, creative weed. Hey, Evan. Yeah. Oh, more, eh? This is my favorite. So fresh wakame, and this is really, really nice for taste. And we're gonna show you later in the kitchen, we make a dessert with this. So we make uh, sweet wakame and salty wakame. This is Finke's restaurant, De Kromme Watergang, in Hoofplaat in the Dutch Seerland region. There are like hundreds of seaweeds, but you have to taste them all before you know what, which one are the best. And then you have to test them all. So you have to cook them, you have to bake them, you have to make powder of it, you have to uh, eat it raw if you want. Huh? So, so it took us a long time to, to experience. And this is the Rolls Royce between the, the algae. This is cordium. When you make like something like oil or something from this, it, it tastes like white truffle. We don't use truffles in the kitchen, but this is white truffle. We replace the salt for seawater. So every sauce we make, every vegetable we cook, we cook in seawater. The seawater is filtered and boiled beforehand to sterilize it. But at first it was too salty, way too salty. We could, we could throw it all the way. But bit by bit by bit we learn how much we can put in. You see what happens? See? Okay, look this. The water is reduced, the salt in the water is, is on the potato, you see? And then you have this salty potato. Great, eh? And so simple. We love simple things. You see? What happens? His creative combinations have earned the Kromme Watergang two Michelin stars. Edwin Funke places great importance not only on how his dishes taste, but also on their presentation. It's like when you buy a bunch of flowers in the shop. Along with seaweed, seafood is his restaurant's specialty. So twice a week, Edwin Funke visits his friend, mussel farmer Jürg Pauber in Jerschike. The fishing village is famous for its mussels. The shellfish harvested here are known and loved for their specially salty flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the clams. White finish. Look like it is, eh? Yeah. Very nice. That's good, eh? <laughs> when it is not so, so strong, then all the scalp can open it. Open it and the water go out. And then two, three days, is the taste not good. But now is the taste five days, six days, very good. Before he heads back to his restaurant, Edwin Funke samples a freshly caught razor shell. It's very nice. And, and what, what's very important for the shells is it has to be alive. And some people say, oh, it's moving. Yeah, of course, because you, you have to eat it alive. Depending on the season, Finke serves up around 20 different varieties of shellfish. The beautiful thing about it is they all have their own taste. One of them is sweet, one of them has a bit, a bit sour, so they have all those different kinds of tastes. Then we have the red horn. It's bringing another extra dimension on the shells. Now Finke uses the wakame seaweed to create a sweet and salty dessert. First, he cooks the leaves, one with salt, the other with sugar. I put a little bit more salt and a little bit more sugar. We try to create another landscape with uh, this special chocolate mousse. This is sesame seed. I just went back from Japan, so it's a bit Japanese influence. All those little things we brought, we try to combine it now with the Zealand stuff. 
It's very important that people come in here and when they leave the table, they have to be fit. You don't have to be tired. We try to, to, to make it as clear as possible and as healthy as possible. Even though this dessert doesn't look very light, it's true to the chef's philosophy. They ask me a lot, uh, do you want uh, another Michelin star? For me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Every day we try to do better and better and better and better. We try to make new things like with the Japanese stuff. I'm, I'm living my, my happiest life I can ever live. So, so I'm really happy and that's the most important thing. 